I've had uh, patients uh, contact me who were having trouble losing weight and they were eating natural fruits, but eating huge amounts Mm -hmm. and are very sweet fruits. And mango is one of the sweetest ones. Pears, apples, uh, you know, these tend to be uh, grapes. They tend to be high in sugar. A bowl of grapes, you can eat a lot of of sugar in in just a few minutes and overdo it. And, you know, I would probably eat like one one fruit at a meal uh, and and separate it out so that it, you, you're not eating a huge amount of fructose all at one time. And the other problem is, is like fruit juice. When you take the fruit and you put it in a juicer and you remove a lot of the fiber and a lot of that, and in the process, you make this drink that has multiple fruit in it. And now you can get 20 grams of fructose and you drink it fast. And boy, that, that combination can really activate this process that causes the fat gain. And I also think it's because we eat fruits that are bred to be sweeter and bigger. So we are not eating the fruits that our ancestors ate long ago. And fruit is available 24-7 in every single variety you want now. And so long ago, that would have been great for us, but not as much now. A lot of people who are super athletic, these super athletes, a lot of them, they say they can eat anything they want and get away with it. You know, some of the people that are really champion athletes, they can eat sugar and they can eat anything they want and it doesn't seem to affect them. What's happened is the way the way that sugar works is it damages the mitochondria, which is what makes the energy. And so the mitochondria are your main things in your body that are making the ATP. And when the, they're making this ATP, they produce it. You can turn it down if you want by creating oxidative stress. If you create oxidative stress in the mitochondria, and that's what uric acid does, mm. it kind of dampens the amount of energy that's made. And in turn, the calories that are coming in, instead of going to make ATP, which is the immediate energy you need, it gets uh, shunted to make stored energy, which is fat. So, you know, when you eat calories, it's really like eating energy. And it can either be used to make immediate energy like ATP, or it can be stored as energy where it's being stored as fat. Uh, The way that fructose works is that it generates this uric acid and the uric acid kind of stuns the mitochondria with a little bit of oxidative stress. And that shifts the energy from being made from ATP to, to being stored ATP or fat. So these super athletes, they have fantastic mitochondria. Their system is so strong that it's very hard to knock it down. If you eat a soft drink, you can have this uh, oxidative stress, but the mitochondria are so strong that you can't notice it. But the worry is that if you do this again and again and again, that it's going to over time cause damage. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points.